She was never very parochial in her thinking at all. She was always a wider thinker. She, um, she liked to travel, she liked to visit new places and meet people from different cultures. The charity was formed when Anne and her husband Trevor had been doing some work out in Uganda. They saw that there was very little opportunity for children to just play and enjoy themselves. And so they'd seen a, a similar model in Jordan a few years ago and thought, well, let's start something, which they did. In the north of Uganda, these young teenagers belong to the Kids League, a UNICEF-supported project which uses sport to unite children from all over the country. Some have experienced conflict. Others have seen violence. Through football, they learn about teamwork, friendship and leadership. When they started to tour in, uh, nationally and internationally, not only did the Ugandan children have the experience of different cultures and different children, the other children, they just went, I had no idea the guys were so nice. They're great. I am very happy to see those of Ronaldinho somewhere in the tours really with my naked eyes, so I can't believe that. Uh, all my life, I like football than any other thing. Meet the Kampala Kids League team. As you can see by this warm-up session, they're dedicated to football. Many of the boys here have already had traumatic lives. Some have been orphaned, others live in appalling conditions. But today, they were here to win. You have to feel it, and, and that's partly why we wanted to bring the children. We didn't want to talk about it. We didn't want to write it on paper and show photographs. We wanted to bring the children and say, these children are, are real, they are flesh and blood and they're here. Today they face some tough opposition, but the Kampala kids weren't phased. They won all their matches to become the tournament champions. They win by huge margins. They started off right at the beginning by winning the Gothia Cup. It's now called the New Youth World Cup and they've just won, won it for the sixth time this time. It's absolutely amazing how the whole thing has expanded and grown uh, around them and, it, and it, it's because of their, um, their own characters. When it got to being a thousand children playing <laughs> in the kids, it was way too big for just volunteers and that's when it changed and had to be on a more formal basis. I'm speaking to you here from, uh, from wonderful sunny Uganda and I'm very proud to be able to be making this, uh, this short film about Anne Dudley. Uh, she has been a very wonderful wife to me for the last uh, 35 years. And uh, without her, what has happened in the last 10 years would never have happened. Uh, the success that uh, we've had with uh, setting up the Kids League um, is really all down to uh, her uh, determination and uh, and support in getting the program uh, up and running. I'm very grateful to Nottingham University for uh, providing her with a, a basis in, uh, in law education right from the very start, and she's put that to very good use. She was a great champion of, of justice and causes, and, and still is. I think the university sees the contributions that students and staff make through volunteering in their local communities whether it's here in the UK or where, the, where else they happen to live in the world is, is seen as incredibly important. We feel that they make a significant contribution to the communities in which they live and work, um, that actually it's an opportunity for us to share knowledge and skills and also to learn from the communities within which people are based, and that actually the kinds of volunteering um, and, and activities that people like Anne are undertaking really can change people's lives. Uh, I mean, they've obviously had a, a great deal of help as well from people over in Uganda, uh, a small amount of help from people over here. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's down to Trevor and Anne. I mean, uh, and Anne is the motor. She is the, the engine that drives the car. I'm absolutely thrilled beyond belief to be here this evening. I'm just so excited about the whole thing. 
I can see by the side of me some things that look like little Oscars, and I think I should be um, up for Best Supporting Actress Award. <laughs> because that's what I've been doing, really. I've been just supporting people in their work, and it's all down to the people that I've worked with, and I'm delighted to accept this on their behalf. It all started, I think, in about 1998, when um, my husband decided to set up Kampala Kids League. And Kampala Kids League was just a collection of children who registered themselves and came along and wanted to play sport and the opportunity was given to them to do so. After a few years, um, maybe two or three years, it became apparent from the numbers of children that were coming along to play the sport seasons that there were actually some very talented young people amongst them. Um, so again, the opportunity was given to them to go to Denmark to um, participate and compete in the Tivoli Cup in Denmark. Um, we had to do special fundraising, and it was a really uh, difficult exercise to get the money together. But it was very necessary because these children needed a platform to be able to show the world who they were and what they could do. Having won the Tivoli Cup, which was good enough and marvellous enough, uh, we then took the children to Sweden to participate for the first time in the Gothia World Youth Cup. And really, that was just going to be a bit of an experience for them. It was the biggest world, uh, biggest football tournament in the world for youth, for young people. So we thought, well, this is really, a, you know, as good as it gets, and it'll be a great experience. We walked out onto the onto the pitch um, for the uh, welcoming ceremony, and a little boy called Benjamin said to us, said to my husband Trevor, "What do we have to do to be able to play in this?" Stadium. The opening ceremony of the, uh, of the World Cup was in the Olivi Stadium in Gothenburg. Huge stadium, beautiful, 45,000 people. What do we have to do to, to play here? He said, you have to get to the final. Benjamin said, then that's what we shall do. <laughs> and they did. Benjamin scored the winning goal in the final, and Benjamin is now playing for the Uganda national team. And he's not the only little chap who's made it through. So having um, recognized these wonderful children from a broad league of anybody turns up, anybody plays, um, we were able then to, to, to move on to a different level, if you like. The children came home as heroes. And we began to realize that they could be really helpful, useful peer role models for children in Uganda. So one, after about five years of, of leagues and so on and so on, we sat down together one evening, right? <laughs> and we decided that we were going to start the Kids League Uganda, which meant Trevor giving up his full-time job and um, just going for it. So that's what we did. We went for it. Uh, we looked at the map and we decided where do children in Uganda most need the opportunity to play? And that, at that time, it was most definitely northern Uganda where there was the longest African civil conflict running at that time. There were thousands of children in jeopardy, uh, and the children were, in risk, were coming into, into the towns each night to avoid being abducted by the uh, Lord's Resistance Army, the rebel army in the north who, that was active at the time. They were hiding away for the night. Um, so UNICEF at that point said, you know what, we know what you're doing in Kampala. We know what you've achieved in, uh, in, in your international travels. Why don't you go up to the north and why don't you put on a program to allow the children just to play? So we did that. Um, and that was well received. And since then, um, we've now been up in the northern districts for about six years. So we're now talking about a time scale of about 11 years. And many, many children have been through those programs now. Kampala Kids League, the original organization, is still running. And um, the Kampala Kids League Euro team has just won its sixth World Youth Cup uh, out of, in eight years. And we are currently um, still operating in the north, um, putting on leagues, um, particularly in Gulu, and uh, in a district called Karamoja, which some of you may be familiar with. And um, my husband Trevor has just flown in tonight from Denmark because he was been out in Denmark with a little a group of young Karamajon warriors who were on a cultural exchange in Denmark. So I'm really happy to have him here. So you never know where life's going to take you, really, do you? I mean, I, I come from Borowash. It's just down the road. 
I used to, I used to have my bedroom overlook the bus stop, and I used to look at people getting on the bus stop and think, I wonder where they're going. <laughs> and I used to think, well, maybe I'll get on a bus one day, and maybe I'll go and find out where they're going. My bus went a bit further than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> we went for two years as, uh, for an adventure abroad with our two-year-old son, who's also here, and it turned into a 30-year adventure. There's an advert on the television that says, if you want to feel that you're alive, do a little something each day that scares you. Well, this has been a roller coaster, and I've been scared most days, but I wouldn't have missed a day of it. Thank you very much for this award. <laughs>